One of the newest products on the market to improve motorcycle safety will be on display this weekend. News 13's Lauren Brigman is live from TD Customs in Mills River. And Lauren, is, it is a paint that helps actually improve visibility. Right, an electroluminescent paint. Lubalure is what it's called. We're here with Tim Donahue, the owner of TD Customs. Tim's bike right here. Go ahead and show us how it works. Well, Flip yeah, on the switch. It's a product called Lumilor, and it's an electroluminescent coating system that can be turned on and off with the flip of a switch, so it's completely controllable. So cool. You guys will have this bike as well as your other products on display at a, at a show this weekend. So tell us about the show you'll be at. Absolutely. We're going to be at the WNC Ag Center this weekend for the Mountaineer Antique Auction Car Show. Um, it's going to be a great show. There's going to be a ton of vehicles out there, um, as long as as well as our bike and our El Camino. And it runs Friday and Saturday. We, of course, took Tim's bike for a spin last half hour to show you what this looks like in the dark. Now we're starting to see a little bit of daylight. This time, though, especially challenging for motorcyclists as far as visibility on the roads, I imagine. Absolutely, and a lot of drivers are just waking up, maybe not paying attention, getting ready for their work day. So this allows you to have one of the coolest bikes on the road and also the feature of visibility and safety. Definitely, and you said you've done some night riding since you applied it. Do you feel that it does help? Absolutely. I've, nobody can really help but look at a bike that's lit up going down the road. And it's definitely cool to look at. comes in various colors, and you said you're one of four here in the country? One of four licensed Lumilor Labs in the country. Okay, so if you want more information about this product, you can come see Tim and Tara this weekend at the show Friday and Saturday at the Ag Center. Live in Mills River, Lauren Brigman, News 13.